Han. Pigeon on the floor. So I gotta come down there and lay down with you. I don't want to live in a reason. <sighs> so what has you on the floor? Just life. That's fair. <laughs> well, I wanted to do a little more magic. I've really just got the book for uh, posterity's sake now. I've learned quite effectively how to use most of this magic. Uh, most of the, uh, well, most of it, I say. I still cannot successfully transform for more than 48 hours without the uh, needed ingredients. So, I don't know if I'm going to try to overcome that hurdle. Obviously, that's something said there on purpose. So, maybe, maybe it's a fine thing. Maybe it is better I learn how to keep modifications and transformations myself. Anyways, well, <clears throat> same thing as last time. <laughs> Transformation wise, I mean. <laughs> ah, don't worry, it's been long enough that my own little modification wore off. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's find the transformation pages. Turns out it does work better if I am actually in the right pages. Because then it knows I'm bullshitting if I'm not. Transformation. Modification. Transformation. Still not knowing a sin. And there she is. She is again. Beautiful little fox lady. <laughs> Beautiful nine tailed fox lady. Very impressive. <laughs> you know what? Let's add a modifier. Let's. I'm gonna stop petting because I need to look this up. What color do you want to be? Because I know I've been putting the Arctic on you, the white. It's up to you. Oh, wow, that is a very different pronunciation. But actually, that's just straight up an English word in there. Well, two English words put together, that is. Back to the transformation pages. There we go. Sionok Noi Herbo Yath. What do you think of that one? I wonder where you got this color inspiration. <laughs> Gray fox, really? You should have specified light gray because you are visually kind of a Ashy gray, unlike my steely gray. <laughs> Don't worry. I actually like that gray a bit more, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's very pretty, and you're free to wrap your tails around mine. <laughs> I don't mind if you act a little flirtatious like that. <laughs> Given you're on the floor, I think it might be nice. Yeah, I agree. Can I ask what was up? Why were you on the floor? Hmm, just bored. I mean, you did get a new rug, so I guess I do understand it. This is a comfy rug. 
It's a bit basic. I know you got it for cheap, but it's still nice. You did get it cheap and new, right? Yes, you did. All right, that's all I care about. Freshly wrapped, I assumed. Yeah. All right, that's great. I didn't want any, like, uh, I just didn't want any, you know, pests. You know, fleas are bad enough for humans, but for a kitsune like me, it's hell. Hell on earth. And trust me, I've lived out in the wild. I've had my share of fleas. Thank you very much. <laughs> Didn't really bother me in Japan. Too cold for them where I lived. Hmm. Do you want to be transformed into anything else? Not just a nine-tailed fox. Mm, not really. I mean, that's fair. You, you really are the cutest this way to me. Fair. <laughs> if you can't figure out why I'd find you cute like this, I think I fail as being any kind of fox. <laughs> But any modifications? Since it's a transformation, I can do that on the fly. No additional spells required. Bigger... Hmm. I mean, alright. Do you want me to pet them, too? Not just... Cup and hold. That's fair. It's feel nice. Does feel nice? Yes. <sighs> Love to hear that you feel nice. It's always great to hear. My magic actually giving someone comfort. Been a long time, a long time before now since my magic ever comforted anyone, you know. It's all just selfish wishes. They never took comfort. They never took comfort in having less of their life secure for money or whatever. What I do to stay alive, eh? Have I thought about just stopping? No. I don't find any joy in it, but I also... Well, I don't necessarily want to perish in it, do I? I've explained it before why I have to, but... I've got to keep doing it to keep surviving. Uh, I have a good few years stocked up, but I don't even have the amount of life a regular Kitsune would have. And even then, I said, I'm going to split it with you. So I've got <laughs> not even half a Kitsune's life left if I stopped now. Yeah. So it's unfortunate. Even one much like you. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it must be. As much as I do or don't like it. Because I want you with me for a good long time. And even if I were to just settle for one Kitsune's lifetime, I couldn't get that right now. I kept you with me. So I guess it'd be more your choice. Do I break my promise and not give them to you? And stop in souls forever? 
just to live a normal life, or do I keep doing it? And we live on till the end of Earth, till the end of whatever planet these social apes colonize. Oh no, I believe humanity will get past this kerfuffle they're having with the climate and everything. At this point, it's more just a uh, show joke to every other spirit. How long can the humans keep fucking up the earth? At this point, we're just kind of cheering them on. Because we'll just fix it. <sighs> yeah. We'll just have to fix it. It's going to take a lot of things, a lot of spirits and all that, but it appears once again humans are being too irresponsible for their own good. They hit this technical revolution, and now everything's gone topsy-turvy. They do not technically a fae. Yeah. Well, the strong amount of magic I have in my birth in Ireland does technically qualify me as a fae. Hmm. <laughs> mm, it's nothing much. A fae doesn't really have any difference from any other form of magical creature, it's just something the Irish call a magic creature, and I was born in Ireland. I have my uh, my Western European accent, I don't know what you call this. But, let's see, I was born Irish, I'm technically a fae. I know there are some creature-specific definitions, but I'm no fairy or anything else. Just a uh, soul taking. <laughs> I don't want to say stealing because I make deals for them, but <coughs> for the sake of continuity, I guess I am a soul stealing Kitsune. Not really a trickster either. At this point, I just make deals. <sighs> I wish you'd agree to let me just move you in somewhere nicer. <laughs> well, I can't force you. It's not in my spirit to force a human to do anything. <sighs> yeah. Well, if I was another kitsune, maybe I would have forced you into a life as my slave. <laughs> oh, if I had done that, you would have already been expired, so don't worry about it. I have no plans for any of that shenanigans. Why didn't I? Because it's not the th kind of thing I enjoy. If I enjoyed making humans my slaves, I would have already absorbed your soul. Would have already moved on to the next. Jesus, 263 years old and I still voice crack. <laughs> well, isn't that just life? <sighs> I'm just going through the modification section again. I'm trying to remember what I said last time. At the very end, it was very short, it was two three letter words. And I want to reuse it. 
You remember what it did, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, that one. That was fun. Hmm. You got to stay transformed all night that night. And I could tell you were enjoying it too. Getting to be a natural fox for a bit. What's that? I regret leaving Ireland. Not really. Because let's be honest, would you have really gone to Ireland looking for a kitsune? Likely to speak, that would have been something akin to my brother if I'd stayed anyways. So, make of that what you will. An all powerful Kitsune in charge of a lot of people. Oh, I would have been a ghost town by now. I would have moved on to the next. Reaping and reaping and reaping. Why? Well, the difference between having one human you like and one human you look after to a degree is a lot different than having multiple thousands. You have one, you start to cherish them. You start to love them in that pettish way. They're your little companion. It's like humans and dogs, you know. You have one dog and you love it. It's your little friend for the rest of its life. But if you're the guy who runs a dog pound, you don't really care if they get euthanized. <laughs> You might as well make a little something off the back of it anyways. You get my point? I guess... That's a bit morbid, but it's a fact of it. I have my human I care about. That I love. And I'm happy with that. And you don't even need a friend. Because you've got your friends. It just means I don't need to go out and steal another human just for you to have a companion. <laughs> you've got your companions. That's the great thing about humans. You don't need to rely on yourself to make them friends. It's a bit of a morbid way of thinking about humans. And at the same time, is it inaccurate? Tell me, what are you but if not a pet? You're a fox. Yes, because I made you a fox. <laughs> it's like putting a costume on your dog. I'm just going really in with the dog comparisons here. Because, yeah, you can give them the little, you can give the dogs in the little fireman outfit where it looks like they're carrying him. But in the end, it is just. Getting uncomfortable with the comparison of being a pet. Why? Aren't you one of those furries? I thought all you dreamed about was being a little animal. Now tell me, am I wrong? 
<sighs> Am I wrong to assume that? That you'd like to be an animal? Because I'm looking at a little fox girl right here. Who is about a tenth of my age. And about the same height as me. Laying at me. Gripping my paw with hers. And wondering this. And you say you don't want to be an animal. If not physically, then mentally. But what part of being taken care of doesn't sound nice? The part where you lose your freedom. When did you lose your freedom? Because as far as I'm aware, you still go to work. You still pay your own taxes. You leave the house without me. I don't lock you in here all day. A pet is a title. There are wolves in the wild. They're no one's pets. And the difference between a wolf and a dachshund is domestication. Now, have I domesticated you when you say I've done that? Now, you very much have a will of your own. So, it's more like owning a wolf. Not owning a dog, I guess. I guess in this case, it's like owning a fox. <gasps> yeah, people have tried to break them, but it doesn't work. They're still going to need to be generations on generations of tries. Until you get a fully domestic fox. Th they're actually doing that. I saw a few YouTube shorts on it. Something Russian, apparently. It's actually fairly cool. You should get one. I'll give you the money. Actually, never mind. That would be a bit weird having a natural fox around, especially because I can understand them. Well, I may be a fox spirit, but it doesn't mean I don't know how to speak the language. Am I gonna do it? Speak fox. Now, I only understand my mouth. My mouth doesn't move like that to make all the yips and squeals. Plus, you really want me to yip and squeal right now? Does that all seem conductive to the environment we're trying to take? No. So let's not worry about that. a little bit tired of laying on the ground. Is there anything you might want to do before I um, transform you? Hmm, I found it again. <laughs> well, before I go, bird more. Hmm. <laughs> I used it again. It's fun. And I think now I'm more in the mood to get off the bed and onto the bed. I said get off the bed. <laughs> I meant get off the floor and get into the bed. I think you should do the same. <laughs> if you get my drift. That you need to sleep, clearly. Sleeping on the floor is some good for your back. I'm gonna go in my own room. Uh. Here. Let's try this on you. Effects, 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 effects. That's like the very beginning. Here we are. Effects. Good luck.
Oh, what did that do? Little Miss suddenly sleepy. <laughs> it was not for sleep. It works on the delay. So you, you go get in bed before you fall asleep on the ground. Okay. Okay. Now you sleep well. I'm going to go to my room and you mine. And maybe if I get bored, I'll come back in here and snuggle up next to you. Is that fun? Yeah. Alright, then I will see you in a bit.